Hello, this is Nabil from YouTutors.com. This is GBHave Tutorials for Beginners. Today, I will show you how to install GBHave in IntelliJ. Let's start. Before we start with this GBHave Tutorials, we should first know the answer of these questions. What is GBHave and why we use it? GBHave is a framework for behavior-driven development, BDD, and we use GBHave to write the acceptance test of our tasks. In GBHave, each task is known as a story, and BDD is able to test these tasks. Now, before we install GBHave in IntelliJ, we should check first if we have already Java installed on our machine. First, we open our command prompt by clicking on Windows and typing command command prompts. After that, we check if we have Java already installed on our system by typing Java minus version. If you get any version, that means you have already Java installed. In my case, I didn't have Java yet installed. For that, I go to do Google and I tip Java GDK 8 download and when I search I go to this site oracle.com I choose the Java ver version what I need in my case I choose the for Windows 64 you can uh, choose for Mac, Linux and so on like you want but very important you should accept the license first and download it and install it after that, we open again our command prompt and type java minus version. Like you see, uh, I have already Java installed, but I didn't get yet any version. Why? Because we didn't set Java in our path variable. We should or we must set Java in our uh, uh, path variable for getting Java version. For that, we go to Windows and type Control Panel. After that, to our system, and in the Advanced System settings, you see the Environment variables. We click it, and in the path here, we edit it and we should uh, put a new entry for Java. We didn't have an entry for Java, so we copy the uh, path for Java first. We go to our Java. I install Java here under C program file Java. And here we copy, we go to the GDK uh, folder and to the bin and we copy this path. As you see, program file Java GDK and bin. I copy it and I go again to do edit environment variable. I click new one and I paste it. Okay, okay, and okay. So now if we type Java minus version we still get any version because we should restart our command prompt. So I close it and I start it again. Now, if I type Java minus version, I should get a version. Like you see, we have the version. Okay, now we have Java installed. On our machine now let's install gbehave in IntelliJ first we open IntelliJ as a Windows and then IntelliJ uh, if you don't have IntelliJ on your machine you should install it first so go to Google and type IntelliJ download after that go to this site jitbrands.com here you see that we have two versions of IntelliJ 
ultimate version that is commercial and community version that is free open source. Uh, for our tutorials, uh, we need only the community so you can download it and install it. After that, you should get also this window and then you click on create new project. So after that, we choose the Maven project. We select this one and you should have also the project SDK selected here. So here you should have also a Java version selected. If not, go to the uh, path where you installed Java and select them. After that, we click next. And here you see we have group ID and artifact ID. The group ID is always the package name. So in this case, I will give you totos.com. And the artifact ID is the project name. I will give here my first test, for example. And the version, we let it like this. And after that, we click next. And here we select where we want to uh, uh, save our project. I let it like this as default. And I click finished. Now, if you see, if we click with the right mouse button here on my first test and we select new, you see we don't have a gbehave story. We can select or create new mo module, new file and so on. And also here, source, when we click with the right mouse button and new, we don't have any option or any possibility to create a new gbehave story for that we should install it first and after that we have also the possibility to select it so we go first to do file and settings and here under plugins we select the plugins and we go to the browse repository we click this browse repositories and here we search for or we look for gbehave gbehave syntax like this gbehave syntax and we select this one gbehave syntax supported and we click on the install after that we must restart our IntelliJ I click on that and again OK restart IntelliJ now if we click with the right mouse button on the source and new, you see we have the possibility to create a new gbehave story. Also, if we make it here, new, and you see we have the possibility to create new gbehave story. So we create now one new gbehave story and we give it, for example, uh, a name, file name is test. And you see here we have our GBF story created. So that was for today. In the next tutorial, I will show you how to write your first GBF story. Till that, I wish you a nice day.